Happy Monday, fifth grade. I just want to walk through a couple how-tos on social studies because although everything is online, there are going to be some things that come home inside your packet that are for social studies. So in your Monday packet, you're going to see something that looks like this. It's a handout and it says use for lesson one, section one. I want you to have this out. You can pause the video until you find this in your packet. Once you have this, hit play again. All right, so for social studies for Monday, uh, the TCI website should be linked into the assignment for Monday under social studies, and it should take you right to this page, Geography of the United States. Our whole first lesson is going to be on the geography of the United States, uh, different parts of geography, so whether we're looking at the maps of the United States or we're looking at more distinguishing features um, or places. So that will be explained in the introduction and a couple different things in the reading you can always hit play and it will play geography of the United States. What can geography? So and I'll read through it for you completely or you can read on your own. Another awesome thing is that you can click on the vocabulary and it's going to open up a new page and it will give you the definition right away. Then you're going to go to the bottom and there's always going to be notes. For the introduction, you do not need to do these notes for today. Uh, if you'd like to, you can, but those are not required of you. Then the next link you, is going to take you to section one. In section one, it's the same way you can hit play and it will read for you. This is another way where you can see what the uh, vocabulary words mean is just by clicking on them and then if you click again, it will go away. All right, so after reading through this first section, you'll see the world map at the bottom and then there's gonna be a place for you to check your understanding. This is not something that will get sent in and graded um, but it is a place for you to see how you understand what you just read. You can look through and say, although most maps are flat, the Earth is a equator. That doesn't make sense. The Earth is a South Pole. Doesn't make sense. None of these places are going to make sense. I'm going to try the word. Although most maps are flat, the Earth is a sphere or shaped like a ball. That makes sense, so I move it over, and then you can go all the way through to the end and hit check my answers to see how you did. The notes for lesson one, section one, are going to be required, and this is where you're going to need your handout. The handout says, label the largest continent. That's number one. So after reading, I should know what the largest continent is, but I can always go back and check. So I know I see the word continent right here. In order from largest to smallest, I see that Asia is the largest continent. So I see that Asia is right here. I want to go back and I want to label it. The way that you label it is clicking on this box. Just put a box right there. And then since it's number one, and then I'll type Asia. And it's already in the right spot, so I don't have to move it. Number two says label the smallest continent. I'm just going to go ahead and make sure it looks like it's Australia, but I want to make sure that I'm correct. So I'm going to go back up where it says continents, Asia, Africa, North America, South America, Antarctica, Europe, and Australia is the smallest. I'm going to go back up or back down, find Australia put a box there. It's number two, so I'll type Australia. You can move it. And then you're going to keep going through all the way until you get to number 10. And that's your assignment for the day. So today you should have just gone through the introduction and section one. Once you have done both of those, you can go ahead and go back to Google Classroom and hit submit. Uh, this week you will have different handouts for social studies. Make sure you look what section they are for and then um, you can go ahead and use those appropriately. These are something that 
do not need to come back in your folder. You can put them in your folder or once you are finished, you can throw them away. That's up to you. If you guys have any questions on this, let me know. Thanks.